Hey YouTube, it's me XPT, and today's my video on the transparent slider background. I know you guys asked for this earlier, but I'm tired. I've been tired, well, very tired, and I'm not one of those YouTubers who will post a video every week and or every few days. I'll make a video whenever I feel like it, whenever I have time. <clears throat> All right. And if I get enough messages about this, like to the point where you guys like annoy me, I'll put up a video. Um, so you guys can go ahead and try to annoy me. Anyways, I will be remaking some of my old videos also. Um, anyways, this um, so for the slider background, like so, where it's transparent you are gonna need to open up Photoshop create a new file and in that you're gonna put it on the background content will be on transparent alright and for the image side and then you're gonna for the width you're gonna put 79 pixels and the height will be at 96 pixels you're gonna press OK you'll get a square like this you're gonna click on file save as and you're gonna name it bottom bar BK GND lock alright so it should look like this no capitals the format will be in PNG and you can go ahead and save it on your desktop next if you wanna make a slider you're gonna go to uh, file new and sorry your image size will be 71 pixels and your height will be 47 pixels and this also has to be in, the content has to be in transparency when you press OK you'll get a square like this it'll be, they'll be it'll be blank nothing on it you can add something if you want or leave it transparent making it seem like you don't have no slider no back no slider background you're gonna click and for this one you're gonna click on file save as and you are gonna name this one bottom bar knob red or green or gray um, I'm not sure if, yeah gray yeah it has to be gray and you're gonna save it on the format has to be in PNG also and you're gonna save it on your desktop now bottom bar knob gray will be your unlock slider this one to unlock your phone bottom bar knob green will be to answer phone calls bottom bar knob red will be to turn off your iPhone or iPod so you you can save those three Im those four images on your desktop and in your desktop you're gonna create a folder name it whatever you like I name mine's clear inside clear you're gonna create another folder you're gonna call it bundles bundles has to have a capital B in bundles you're gonna create another folder called com.apple.telephonyui the capital T has the T has to be a capital and the last two letters U and I also have to be in capitals inside telephone.com.appletelephonyui you will have your images like so. So bottom bar BK GND lock, bottom bar knob gray, bottom bar knob green, and bottom bar knob red. When you make it correctly, like I have, so you should have one folder, two folder, three folders, and then four images inside the third folder. Once you do that, you're going to open up WinSCP or CyberDuck. WinSCP will be for Windows. CyberDuck will be for Mac users. Um, I will make a video on how to SSH, by the way, on both of these. I keep getting requests about this, so 
I'm assuming there are, are new people at jailbreaking and don't know how to SSH, so I will make a video on this. Um, for Windows users, you will have a folder at the top with an arrow on it. You're going to double click this to go back once, and it will give you a list. Mac users, you will have this back button up, up here. You're going to click it, it will go back once. You guys are going to scroll down on both Windows and Mac, you're going to scroll down to Stash. Alright, open up Stash. And in Stash, you will have a folder called Themes. Alright. In And this is where you're going to drag your new theme that you created. Your transparent theme. You're going to drag it into the Themes folder. Like so. Uh, Alright, so you are gonna drag it into themes okay I can't drag it into the Windows version for some reason but I'll drag it into the Mac and as it uploads I don't know why it's taking so long to upload okay so it's right here you're gonna put it into themes on both Windows and Mac once it's in themes you're gonna open up Winterboard and in Winterboard you should have it mine is at the top of the list you're gonna check mark it Let it respring, and you will have your transparent lock background slider. I have a video on how to make a transparent lock background for the lock clock. As you can see, I don't have a bar at the top where my lock clock is. I have a video for that and how to do that, so go check it out. It'll be actually, I'll put the link in the description for that video. And thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to f get to the rest of my requests. Um, I'll try to make another video today. So thanks for watching and sorry guys for not making my videos as soon as possible. But I, I have been tired le recently. So Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.